Welcome to the spoken tutorial on create and format text using Inkscape. In this tutorial, we will learn about inserting text, formatting and aligning text, spacing and bullet. We will also learn how to create a simple flyer at the end. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 OS, Inkscape version 0.48.4. I will be recording this tutorial in maximum resolution mode. This is to accommodate all the tools that will be demonstrated. Let us open Inkscape. Text can be inserted using the text tool from the toolbox. We can add text in two ways, regular text and flowed text. First, we will learn about regular text. Click on the text tool and then click on the canvas. Type the word spoken. Observe, the text box grows to accommodate the text. Line breaks have to be added manually. So press enter to go to the next line and type tutorial. To move the word to the previous line, keep the cursor before the alphabet T. Now press backspace and add a space between the two words. In a similar way, type http colon double slash spoken hyphen tutorial dot org on a new line below spoken tutorial. Next, we will learn to insert text through flowed text. This time, I will copy text from a LibreOffice Writer file that I had saved earlier. Press Ctrl plus A to select the entire text and press Ctrl plus C to copy them. Now, come back to Inkscape. Make sure the text tool is selected. Click on the canvas and drag to form a rectangular or square text area. Notice a blue rectangle box is formed on the canvas on releasing the mouse button. Now inside the text box, notice the text prompt which is blinking on the extreme top left corner. Press Ctrl plus V to paste the copied text. Observe the color of the text box changed to red. This is because the inserted text exceeds the boundaries of the text box. We can correct this using the small diamond handle at the right corner of the text box. Click and drag it till the text box color changes to blue. The last sentence of the text is clubbed with the previous sentence. Press enter twice at the beginning of the last sentence to separate it. Next, let us learn the various formatting options available for text. Click on the word Spoken Tutorial. Go to Main Menu, click on Text and then on Text and Font option. A dialog box appears with two options, Font and Text. Under the Font tab, there are several options. Font family lists all the available fonts. You can select any of the font of your choice. We can preview the selected font in the preview box here. My choice is Bitstream Charter. There are four style options. Normal, Italic, Bold and Bold Italic. Choose the style as per your requirement. I will choose Bold. To change the font size, Simply click on the drop down arrow and select the size. Since this is the title, I will select a bigger font, say 64. Next is the layout. We will learn about this in a while as the preview is not visible for this option. Now, click on the text tab next to the font tab. Here, a preview window is seen with the text inside it. Any modifications to the text can be done here. Click on Apply and close the dialog box. Observe the text is now formatted. We can change the text color using the color palette at the bottom. Let me click on maroon color. Next, select the text for the URL that is http colon double slash spoken hyphen tutorial dot org. Text formatting options are available in the tool controls bar too. I will change the font to Bitstream Charter, font size to 28 and color to blue. Now, let us choose the paragraph text. If the text tool is already selected, 
you can simply click on the text to go inside the text box. I will change the font size to 25. Click and drag the diamond handle to move the text inside the canvas. Next, let us align the text. The four icons next to the italic icon on the tool controls bar helps to align the text to the left, center or right of the text box. The fourth option will justify the text within the boundaries of the text box. I will click on left align before proceeding further. We can align the text using the align and distribute option too. Go to main menu and then click on object menu. Then click on align and distribute option. Now we will move the word spoken tutorial to the center. So click on it. First check if the relative to parameter is set to page. So click on center on vertical axis. Observe, the text is now aligned to the center. Let us add some more text in the empty space at the bottom. Type 4 categories. Now align it to the center of the page by clicking on center on vertical axis. Type some force names such as Linux, LaTeX, Scilab, Python. Separately and randomly on the canvas. Now, let us align all these texts in a single row with equal space. Select the four text using the shift key. Click on align baseline of text. And distribute baseline of text horizontally. Notice, the gaps between the words are not equal. The first letter of the first word and the first letter of the second word are equally spaced. But the words themselves are not equally spaced. This works in a similar way for vertical text too. These options may be useful in certain situations. We will make the spaces between the words equal. To do so, click on the fourth icon in the first row under distribute. Now the spacing is equal between the words. Next, we will learn to adjust the space between the lines of the paragraph text. Double click on the paragraph text to go inside the text box. The spacing between lines icon on the tool controls bar helps reduce or increase space between lines. Observe what happens when I increase the spacing. Let me keep the line spacing as 1.50. The next icon helps to adjust space between letters. Again click on the up and down arrows and observe the changes. Let me keep the space parameter as 0. Observe there is an empty space in both the vertical corners of the canvas. We can fill them with some text. Type a sentence, learn open source software for free somewhere outside the canvas. Change the font to Ubuntu. Font size to 22 and make it bold. Now click on the last icon that is vertical text on the tool controls bar. Notice the text is now aligned in vertical direction. Click on the text using the selector tool and move it to the left corner of the canvas. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it and move the copy to the other corner of the page using the Ctrl key. Now, we will add bullet points to the text within the paragraph. Inkscape does not provide bullet or number list for text. So, one has to create bullet points manually. Click on the ellipse tool. Draw a small circle of red color. Now, move this bullet to the first line of the paragraph. Duplicate it and move its copy to the next sentence. Repeat this for all sentences. Now, we have all of our text as per our requirement. Lastly, let us do some beautification to make it look like a flyer. Here is the completed flyer. I have added borders to the top and bottom and covered the text with a rounded rectangle and ellipse shapes. You can use your creativity to create different layouts and designs for your flyer. Let us summarize. 
In the tutorial, we learn to insert text, format and align text, spacing and bullet lists. We also learn to create a simple flyer. Here is an assignment for you. Create a flyer like this. Use the text tool to type text. Create bullets and boxes using the rectangle tool. Create star using star tool with 10 corners. Use color palette and fill and stroke to change colors. Align the text using align and distribute. The video at the link shown summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. We have come to the end of this tutorial. This is Aarti and Priya from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.